today I have an amazing recipe for you that I want to share. Uh, I'm going to make some rolls. They are very, very easy to do and I think everybody would love it. If you want to, to share with your friends and like to show people how to eat raw, this is going to be great. And of course, this is 80-10-10. Okay, so I'm going to start with my sauce or dressing. I, I soaked four medjool dates here, just in water, for about maybe, oh, maybe an hour. An hour, and, yeah, like an hour and a half. That's enough. I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the little bone inside. And for this sauce, I'm also using some fresh apple juice. I'm using half a cup of fresh apple juice. You can substitute the apple juice for water if you don't have apple juice, but the taste is really, really good with the apple juice. So I have my apple juice here. This is half a cup. And we're going to blend. In case we need more, more use, you can use more, of course, or you can add some water from the soaking dates. So we're going to blend. That's going to be enough. We won't need any more water. Oh, I can feel the, the juice, you know, the smell. It smells really nice. This is a dressing, or also you can, um, you can use it as a dipping sauce, which is the main, the main uh, ingredient. So I'm going to put it here. You can see some chunks of dates, which is fine, yummy, <laughs> actually. So I will put it in here, and then we won't need this anymore. So I will take, take this out. And as you can see, for the rolls, what I'm going to use is some grated jicama. Here I have one medium-sized jicama. Here I have two big, uh, two big grated carrots. This is one zucchini, but this is a slice, it's not uh, grated. And I have one bit grated and some red cabbage also grated. We're going to use, uh, well, you can use any type of leaf, preferably some uh, Swiss chard or something like that. But what I found here in Mexico, <laughs> I found this huge um, spinach, so I might use this too. I want to to see how it goes because it's not that big, but I'm gonna give it a try. So here I have my two big leaves. You can put some of the sauce in here before, but I prefer to dip it, so I will dip it. I will put some jicama inside then I will take some grated carrot you can use any ingredients you like uh, I personally don't eat that much of, uh, of tomatoes but you can use some uh, tomato slices if you wish that's perfect I will put some just a few um, slices of red cabbage. I love color color in my food, so that's why I oh, I'm always using a lot of different uh, ingredients because I love watching color and all these different flavors, etc. So I will use these. And if you want, you can top it with some alfalfa sprouts. These are so fresh. I love. It. So I have my little roll in here and I'm going to use something that you're going to like. I'm going to use uh, this. And these are actually for a little bag to close your bag but I will use it instead of a... Um, what's the name? <laughs> instead of using a tooth toothpick, yeah toothpick, I'm going to use this just for a while, before I serve it, you know, to keep it like this. 
So I'm going to put it in here. This is my first beautiful roll, as you can see. Then I'm going to use another one. And with all these ingredients, you can make, believe me, a lot of rolls. But I will show you uh, only three rolls. Oh, and this, actually I'm going to put some in here. These are optional, but I love the flavor of cilantro or parsley in my food. So I will use some in this roll. In here, and we will close it. Okay, so this is tiny, of course, as you can see it. But I just wanted to show you. Okay, so what else do I have for you? This is the salad. We have so many ingredients that it will take you, they'll take you a, lo a long time to finish all these rolls. So what I want you to use is my spinach as my base. I just get rid of this and I will just cut it like this. I will take it again and just put some spinach in here. I love spinach. It's one of my favorite uh, leaves, greens. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then, okay, that's going to be enough. Then, I'm going to put this. I'm going to use my jicama. Mix the rest of the ingredients here. And as you can see, there's a lot of color in here, which I love, like seriously, you have no idea. I just, chopped my my zucchini i just cut it in the smaller sizes and i added everything in here put some uh, spinach and this is the end result we have our beautiful rolls and our dipping sauce and in case you want just the salad you just use this for the dressing and you toss the salad with the dressing you mix it well and you serve it like if it's just for you like for me that's fine and if you want to share it with her, well you can serve it in a small plate so i hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think <laughs>